Yo, what's up guys, SEM here, and today I'm going to be showcasing just a bunch of random custom painted figures I've made recently. Um, this is called a fig barf, which I've seen a lot of people doing on YouTube lately, so I thought I'd try it out. It's basically where you showcase a bunch of custom figures uh, that aren't really from the same thing altogether. So yeah, uh, well these guys are Marvel, but they're not in the same movie or comic or whatever, if you know what I mean. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, the first figure we're going to be showing is Hawkeye. Now he isn't exactly, well he is a custom figure but there's only one custom painted part on him so yeah that is the helmet so this is based off of his comic helmet so what i did was i took a wolverine helmet because i had two of it and i basically just painted over it purple uh here's the inside you can see that it's still yellow because I wasn't going to paint the inside because it's unnecessary and it would ruin the figure's face. But yeah, I think that this works really well. Um, And if Lego ever are to make like a comic book Hawkeye, then they should use uh that helmet mold because it definitely works. And yeah, so... Nothing much to say about him. Let me just show you the back in case you're curious or something. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of how this turned out. So, yeah, let's move on to the next figure. Okay, so I had to remove all the other figures in the background because uh, my camera wouldn't focus on this figure. So, yeah. Now, this figure isn't exactly a new custom. Uh, this is Kang based off of his comic book appearance and yeah so you may remember this figure from my secret wars trailer and yeah this is the exact same custom all i did was change the face but you know i thought i that this would be a good video to actually give you a better look at the figure um but yeah i also did make a slight adjustment to the face but it's pretty much the same as before um he's got some nice um detailing on the arms i'm really proud of how that turned out uh the arms were really hard uh to do so yeah he's using the same helmet as i used on my uh ant-man and the wasp quantum Mania. uh kang figure um i could have done a new helmet because i know in the comics he doesn't have those white lights on his helmet but i couldn't be bothered <laughs> so i just kept it the same but maybe i'll make it more accurate because i do have a few of those iron man helmet pieces laying around so yeah um let me give you a bit of a good look at that newer face so yeah it's pretty much the same as before uh just slightly different uh i made the eyebrows a little bit more um thinner and yeah the lines are a little bit different like his scars here so yeah i know it looks a little bit messy here especially this eyebrow but I don't really care because once you put the helmet on, you can't even see that mess anyway. So, like, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the legs, pretty proud of how they turned out. Uh, the detailing from the torso pretty much just extends down to the legs. So, yeah. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite customs I've ever made so far. Um, but, yeah. Um, he is very different to my, uh, Quantumania Kang. Um, obviously he's not as detailed, but, yeah, I do think he is very accurate to the comics. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the next figure. 
Okay, so next up we have Rama Tut, who is a variant of Khan. No, I'm not the proudest of this figure. It could have looked a lot better. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good for the most part. So the helmet I used was from the Crystal King. Oh no. Yeah, the Crystal King from Naxo Knights. Um, uh, Naxo Knights Geminized. And yeah, so I think it looks pretty good. Um, I did some yellow around it because I don't have gold paint and I can't find gold anywhere. So yeah, there's some purple dots on it. Uh, oh, there's a white stain here, uh, from, uh, the white paint. Uh, then the head is from Nakia from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It is a girl's head, and you can see, like, the eyelashes, if I zoom in here, on the eyes. But I do think it works for Ramatut, and I'm not really that bothered by the eyelashes. And it's hard to really tell anyway. Um, you can't really see them once the helmet's on. Um, but, yeah. I did some purple on him, I guess, to sort of represent that this is a variant of Kang. I was going to put some green on here, but I just didn't think it would look good. I actually did do green, but it just didn't look very good, so I just removed it. Um, yeah, probably the worst custom in this video, um, but it looks okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next custom. Okay, so next up we have Storm from the X-Men. This isn't really based off of any specific suit she wears. This is kind of my own take on Storm. Um, I used the hairpiece from Pixel from Nexo Knights. And yeah, I think it looks really good on her. Uh, her hair is white in the comics, but I do think that this does work. Like, yeah, and this is my own take on Storm, so, yeah. Um, those little, those white lines on the legs do extend down from the torso. She's got the yellow X to sort of represent that she's an X-Man member. And her head is from Shuri. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty proud of how this turned out. It's pretty simple, but I think it looks good, so, yeah. Um, I do think that that pixel hairpiece looks really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next figure. Okay, so here's another X-Men member. We have Colossus, and I love how this figure turned out. Um, it's super detailed. Um, the hairpiece I use is from... Mbaku from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Really glad that they came out with this hairpiece uh, quite recently, a few months ago, because it saved me just taking a regular Zane hairpiece from Legends of Chima and painting it black, so yeah. Then we have, speaking of Zane, we have Zane's head uh, uh, from Chima, but then I turned his I used some white paint to make his eyes white. So, yeah, the torso, I think, looks pretty good. Um, It's pretty simple, but his suit is simple. So, yeah. Um, Here's the legs. Uh, He has some side leg detailing. Nothing on the back. None of them do. Uh, None of these figures have any details on the back. But... Yeah, I do think that this is a really good looking custom. So let's move on to the last custom. Okay, so this last custom isn't exactly new. Uh, I made a video on this, like, I think one or two months ago. Um, so this is Green Goblin from the final battle of Spider-Man No Way Home. I did make a video showcasing this figure. 
but it was pretty trash. Like, it looked really bad. Um, especially compared to the other figure I showcased in that same video. It was the regular Raimi uh, Green Goblin suit. It was so detailed, but this just looked horrible. And after recording that video, I knew I had to fix it. But I kind of, like, put it off for a long time. So I only got to making it look good quite recently. But I am super proud of how this turned out. So I just took a regular purple hood. Um, no, a regular hood. And then painted it purple. I used the head from uh, Loki from the Marvel CMF series. And as an alternative, you can use the Han Solo hairpiece from Doctor Who. And it looks pretty good on Green Goblin. Uh, it really looks like Willem Dafoe. Um, and yeah. Um, we've got the scarf here. Uh, yeah. It's the exact same figure, really. Like, I'm using the exact same pieces I used before, but I just made it look better and more accurate because that that other version of that figure that I made that I made a video on oh gosh it looked it looked so bad um you can find that video if you want it's one of my more recent videos but it it looked so bad um but yeah uh the pumpkin bomb I used here is um from Firestar Toys it looks just like the tomato bomb from the movie. So, yeah, pretty accurate. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is the figure. Okay, so that is it for the showcase. I hope you guys like uh, these figures. Um, I'm really proud of how they turned out. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to... Uh, subscribe and also if you enjoyed the video uh, please leave a like as well so uh, yeah anyways with all that said I will see you guys in the next video bye